welcome back to my channel it's me it's gray and somehow you've landed here so let's hang out if you've clicked on today's video obviously from the title of the video i'm going to be reviewing the boxy charm may box um i think i got this like last week or something and it took me a little bit to film i know everybody's like so up with it as soon as they get their box they want to like make a video but a bitch got a life and like I have a lot of things to do so I'm finally getting to this video and yeah I just want to show you guys what I got this month and maybe you'd like it and maybe you want to subscribe into the box so let's check it out when you first open the box when I first opened my box my um first reaction was holy moly these are like really big sized products um they're actually always going to be big size products they're always going to be five full size products in your boxy charm but i don't know for some reason these were just like huge what i got so with every box as you may know comes a little card this is what my card looks like this month in the back of the card it comes um it tells you what products you got what five products you got what each of the products retail for and a little bit about what each product does so um let's just get right into it let's see what product number one is okay so the first product that i got was this fire makeup remover by tarte um so it's a tarte micellar magic micellar magic makeup remover and cleanser and this is pretty freaking big. Use this mess free, no rinse, micellar cleansing water anytime, anywhere. Saturate a cotton pad and apply to skin um, after or to remove that full face makeup you work so hard on. So um, in my little card, this says that it retails for $18. And it's supposed to be a no rinse facial cleanser that removes waterproof and long wear makeup. Anyways, let me open this bad boy for you guys. This is such a nice size. This is, this is the size of my hand. Like, it's literally really big. And then when you open it, it, you just put like a little pad and it like squirts out. It's super nice. I actually did use this already um, a few days ago when I was taking off my makeup. I wanted to just give it like a nice review when I did um, go ahead and record this video. First of all, it smells really, really nice when you um, use it. And also... I love how it feels on your skin. You know, sometimes you have makeup removers that are very oily and you just feel like, there's been times where I've literally removed my makeup with like little makeup pads or an, um, a makeup remover and I cannot get the oil out of my face. It's literally just oil and that's how you take, up make, take off makeup. But this one did not give me that feeling at all. It was just a really nice basic um, makeup remover. I really, really liked it and I love that it was different. Like you have to pump it to use it. So that is product number one, Tarte. Love it. And I actually needed um, some more makeup remover, so it was really nice that I got this. That was product number one. Now, product number two is pretty freaking big as well, if you can see from the size of my hand. It's the Elemis Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pads, and these are really, really cool. So these retail actually for $59. I'm not lying to you. $59. Um, and so what this is supposed to be is, let's see, dynamic resurfacing facial pads are powered by Elemis patent tri-enzyme. Okay, so they're patented with tri-enzyme technology combined with a mild, a mild lactic acid and probiotic ferment complex to gently yet effectively smooth the skin, revealing a visibly blah. Anyways, um, these things are fire. Like, I absolutely love them. Let me show you them. I actually had to Google, like, what is this? Is this a cleanser? Like, what kind of, like, what is this? So it's pretty much, and these smell really good to you. They smell really good. So these are little tiny pads like this, and they have, like, a little, there's, like, a smoother side on the back, and then, like, a more kind of rougher side on the front, and it's not even that seriously rough. It's just more edged. And so after you cleanse your face, you're going to use these. I actually use these and I absolutely love them. You can actually um, exfoliate your face with these and it's super gentle. It's not like you're rubbing any kind of exfoliating stuff on your face, but you do use this in a sense to exfoliate and you use this after you cleanse your face. And then you can follow up with like a moisturizer if you want. 
So after I washed my face with my CeraVe um, cleanser, I just dried my face and then I used this bad boy. And I'm not gonna lie, my skin did feel smoother and it felt hydrated. You're supposed to follow up with this with a moisturizer. But honestly, I could just rock this and then not really put a moisturizer on my face. Y es okay, like I have very dry skin, sensitive skin, red skin. So the fact that I was able to use this and not really have to use a moisturizer after, I thought was amazing. But if you are going to use like makeup after and you're going to rock like a full face look, obviously you need to use your primer and moisturizer. But I did really like to add this. I, re I did really like this and I'm definitely going to be using this into my skincare routine. So that was that. Next was this um, pretty vulgar eyeshadow primer. I'm going to tell you guys how much this retails for right now. This is $22. And yeah, it's just an eyeshadow primer. You're going to put this under, I mean, on your eyelids before you do your eyeshadow. I did actually use this under my eyes um, as a primer for my eyeshadow. Um, and honestly, I liked it. I, I actually needed one. I ran out I ran out of one like a while back. So it was nice that they sent me this. Um, I have to see how it like lasts, if it will make my eyeshadow last um longer all day but honestly eyeshadow primers they really that's what they really do like they really do make my eyeshadow last way longer i'm gonna show you guys what this looks like because a lot of the time sometimes they're like clear and this came it kind of looked i don't know if the lighting kind of sucks there so let me show you it looks kind of brownish you can't tell from there but it's like a brown white that it looks like and then when you blend it it blends in with your skin tone and yeah it just feels very like i don't know like primey like i don't know if you guys have ever had the poreless primer kind of stuff for your face that's like a little thick clay kind of feels like that so this retails for 22 dollars kind of like it Okay, next I'm gonna show you guys this Appeal Ultra Cream Liquid Lipstick that I got. This retails for $21. So this is $21, a luxurious cream lipstick that sides on with ease and stays comfortable all day. So it does have a satin um, kind of look. When I first saw this, I was like, this looks kind of cheap. This looks kind of like dollar store-ish to me. I don't know, like the packaging. But when I put it on, it's so cute and it does give you like this matte kind of satin look so i did really like it i hope it actually lasts all day it does leave like i put it on maybe like 20 minutes ago and it does leave like not too sticky but you see how it's kind of like it's kind of sticky i don't really like that about satin lipsticks but other than that it is a super cute color and i love you boxy charm for always sending me nice little nudes because that's my kind of lipstick nudes so that was the fourth product and then the fifth product that i got was the studio makeup eyeshadow palette studio makeup ease to wear eyeshadow palette this was 35 dollars. don't ask me how the hell this is 35 dollars because when i got it on my packaging first of all the colors are pretty cute they're pretty decent nothing crazy very neutral there's a pink that literally looks like a regular regular pink one that you can use for under your eyes eyebrows just to kind of like highlight your eyebrows but there's nothing really like majorly shiny about that there's some br there's some browns here it's nothing like wow oh my god I, I mean i wouldn't pay 35 dollars for this and also like i don't know why but when i got my in my in my box and i opened it I don't know if it was like used before or what the fuck, but there's like this little line here on this one. I don't know if you can see it. Like there was just like little lines on it that I was like, did somebody use this palette before me? Because um, I don't know, it just didn't look, didn't really amaze me too much. But this was the palette that I got. BoxyCharm always usually sends you an eyeshadow palette. Um, and I did use it in today's look. I just added some of the pink, some of the browns. I highlighted my eyebrows. And yeah, I mean, it came out cute. I can't complain, but that it wowed me. I don't know. 
So yeah, guys, that is what I got on this month's box. Um, again, the facial resurfacing pads, the makeup remover from Tarte, loved this one. The liquid lipstick, this Kaka eyeshadow palette, and the Pretty Vulgar um, eyeshadow primer, which I did like. Other than that, I hope you guys um, liked this review. Um, I actually just got my Allure box last week as well, so I definitely want to review what I got in my Allure box. Um, other than that, I want to like, update you guys on what's going down here in Miami with this whole quarantine thing. Um, we have been on lockdown for a while, but nothing crazy, nothing like fucking Italy and shit, but... I feel like everybody's still out and about just with a fucking mask. But anyways, starting this week, restaurants are opening up. You have to wear your mask. Um, I think doctor's offices, most of them are already opened. Um, I'm I'm going to have reservations tomorrow to go to a restaurant, which is in a mall. And I think my friend told me already that stores are already opening up as well. And so are like little bars and things like that. Not huge bars, but some places that I go to brunch in that are originally restaurants, but they get pretty lit. Um, are already opening up and stuff, um, stores. So I am kind of happy. Obviously, I was like a little bit scared at first. that like, oh my God, are we opening up stuff too soon? But honestly, everybody just needs to be clean and stay away. And like, I don't know, because I, I need to go on a date. I need to go eat with my boyfriend somewhere i need to go hang out with my friends i need to go to happy hour i need to go to the zoo with my kid like i need to do something so um also i don't know if i told you guys well i did tell you guys that i am working part-time now but um for example like we had all gotten laid off obviously everybody got laid off most people got laid off um back on march 23rd so we did get laid off and I started um, on the 9th of May. So I did get about a month, a little bit more than a month off just to like spend time with my family and obviously everybody be more healthy and take care of each other. Um, but yeah, I'm back at work and things are opening up again. I'm wearing a mask every day at work. We're being super clean and OCD with everything. But if you are returning back to work, I hope you guys are going through a smooth and great transition when it comes to that if things aren't opening up yet in your city um just relax they will soon don't come to miami and fuck up our beaches and shit just stay at your fucking state um no i'm just kidding but thank god that stuff here in miami is opening up the beaches are opening up restaurants stores obviously people are still gonna have to wear their mask but we need to get a little breather Naples and Marco Island has been open for a while. I've actually been going to the beach, as you can tell, for the past few weekends. Just to kind of, I've been making the drive. It's about an hour and 40 minutes away, but it's just worth it. The sun sets over there at 8.30 at night. So if you wake up really early and you can spend the whole day there with your family. I mean, what's better than that? So with that said, I hope you guys have an amazing week and I hope you guys are staying safe. Um, I'll update you guys on what I got on my Allure box very soon. Other than that, um, if you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Like this video if you do like my little reviews. And um, yeah, bye.